Hey, what's going on everybody? Happy Saturday. Hopefully you guys are doing great today. So in the morning, I wake up like three, four o'clock. I have my thoughts on my head and I just like to share with you so that for one, I don't go crazy. And for two, I hope that by doing this, it motivates someone or just makes you think, you know, because that's what I'm doing all the time. I'm just thinking all the time and I like to just share my experiences because it keeps me human. And so for the people that love the trucking interviews and things like that, I'm going to give you that energy today. But in the morning, I like to kind of just stay in my own thoughts. So I want to share something with you. You know, uh, I was talking to who I call my brother-in-law, which is actually my ex's family. And basically before Jenna, which I've been with Jenna for 10 years, I was with my ex from 14 years old all the way to about 24 years old. Okay. So... She was a big part of my life. But the reason why I want to bring this up is, you know, a lot of us, we go through these experiences. You know, you might feel at the time that they're shitty, they're bad and depressing at times. But I have nothing bad to say. I mean, when the times were good with us, they were good. When they were bad, I mean, they were really bad. I mean, it was my first relationship. That was the first time I ever felt jealousy. The first time I've ever felt love. First time I've ever felt so many things, right? But... I want to give her some props right now and really I'm gonna be honest with you guys I didn't think I was gonna go to college I didn't think I was gonna do anything because when I was 18 uh, I started washing cars and uh, I started selling cars at Toyota about 18 years old and um, I was doing pretty good I was selling like five six seven cars a month I was like I saw my first paycheck like dude I'm making like $5,000 a month at 18 forget college and she basically told me if your ass don't go to college I don't want to be with you if your ass don't go to college you can't be around my family and for me I was like damn I mean her family's a big part of my life so I guess I might have to go to school, you know what I mean? The reasons were all messed up. It wasn't for education. It wasn't for, you know, broadening my horizon. It wasn't for any of those things. But, you know, I thought about that and I go, you know what? If I didn't go to college, I wouldn't have met some of my best friends. If I didn't meet some of my best friends, I wouldn't have my ideas. And if I didn't have my ideas, I wouldn't have my grind and hustle. And then if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be where I am now helping people on social media and on YouTube, helping them with trucking and success. So, you know, I think back to that and I say, look, there's a lot of things that happen in our lives, but, you know, don't think of them all as bad experiences. Just think of them as experiences. And at times, man, it it makes you who you are now and, and be happy with who you are now. I mean, you're you and I'm me, man. I actually looked it up on Google. It's like one in 400 trillion that were born. And so if you think about that, man, you already won the lottery. At this point, it's just trying to figure a way how to make yourself happy, how to provide for your family, and do something amazing before you die. But I was just having those thoughts today like, dude, you know, at times I'm like, man, that relationship was tough. It was rough. Sometimes I wish I never had it, but in reality, If she wasn't in my life, I was just one of those kids. I just wanted to skateboard. I just wanted to hang out with friends. We got into bad shit. I'd probably be in jail right now. So at the end of the day, I really appreciate her for pushing me to get an education and to better myself. So in your life, if you could think back, your experiences maybe with your ex, maybe with a bad relationship, a bad experience at work, just remember... It's just a part of growth and it makes you who you are. So happy Saturday, man. Let's go out. Let's get it today. Let's grab the energy and let's go. I'll have a video later on today like I always do because I'm here for life. This is what I'm doing. Let's get it. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams.